I am Steve Norton, Mind Coach, and welcome to my latest video. What I'd like to talk to you about today is mediums. And the big question is, are they real or are they fake? Well, that's a question I've asked myself many times over the years. And having experienced going to see a medium, I can honestly say I do not believe them. I do not believe in them which is a little bit strange because a lot of people believe that the work I do regarding hypnosis is in some way related to uh, mediumship, that we're all part of the same family. And uh, I can honestly say that couldn't be any further from the truth. So let's have a look at then what my experiences are. Well, I remember many years ago going to a party and... Um, a lot of people have been to see this medium there. And he's roughly seen about, about nine or ten people. And I was one of the last ones to go in. And I sat down there with him. And he was one of the most respected ones in the local area. And I can honestly say that 95% of everything he said was absolute rubbish. And I told him that. But the amazing thing was, at the end of it he said to me, you can do this. And I said to him, what do you mean? He said, you could be a medium. And I said, but I don't have any special powers or gifts. And he just like looked at me and went. And it was with that one look that he understood what he was really saying. You don't need to have any special gift or powers. You just need to learn how to do it. And when you look at the whole process of being a medium and you look at how it's set up, it's set up to con people into believing one of three things or maybe even all of three things. One of them is that you can predict their future. And the other thing is that you can tell them their past and the last thing is that they can speak to your dead relatives. So let's look at the first one, that they can predict the future. Well, if they could predict the future, they wouldn't have to go around people's houses and do parties, seeing people on one-to-one. -one. They would just work the stock markets. If they could tell what's gonna happen in the future, they'd be able to tell what stocks or shares were going to come in. So what about predicting people's pasts? Well, that's just very, very good guesswork. They work on a ratio of roughly 50% uh, accurate, which would pretty much go for all of us in the world today if you were to predict things from speaking to total strangers. And one of the books I've come across on my travels is a great little book called The Full Facts book of cold reading by Ian Rowland and Ian Rowland at one time was one of the top uh, mediums of the country and he used to do that go around all over the world uh, giving psychic readings until one day he just basically decided that he stopped he wanted to stop cutting people and he wrote this book and uh, I definitely urge you to get that book because in that book it tells you exactly how it's all done. Every script, what happens when you come against objections, what happens when you get people to say a flat no, and it's very, very clever. So if you want to actually understand how mediums do it, uh, I definitely urge you to get that book. You'll find it very, very interesting indeed. And that's what basically what mediums do. They are cold readers. And uh, some people say, well, and how do they manage to give out these amazing facts at times? And they say, no one else could have known that stuff. The answer is, they're guessing. And your own body language also helps them to make the right guesses. You know, because we don't realise how much our own body language does help to give away clues and it's a funny thing when 
when a medium speaks to someone's dead relative, they never really seem to come out and give you any sort of real decent information. Uh, their dead relative usually says something like, you've got to watch that doesn't work. Uh, maybe it tells you what you know your favourite uh, football team you support. It never tells you anything like really that groundbreaking. Like if you were to come back from the dead and speak to a, a living relative, why wouldn't you just give them some really good advice to watch out for something? Uh, why would you mention what football club they supported? Or that the fact that they've lost a ring or another piece of jewellery? It just doesn't make any sense. And I always remember watching a, a programme on TV uh, with Darren Brown, where he pretended to be a psychic. And he went over to the United States of America to do it over there. And he went down an absolute storm. He was giving so many fantastic readings. And he said at the start of the program that he was going to do that. And he also admitted that he had no psychic ability whatsoever. And Darren says that there's two types of psychics in the world. Those who know the economy people and those who don't know the economy people. That's a very interesting thing. So some people are actually, they know the economy people, they accept that, they're, they're taking money for economy people. But there's other people out there who actually believe that they are psychic, that they are receiving messages uh, from spirits or whatever it is they say. But in reality, all they are doing is using assumptions and using their own instincts and clever guesswork to get the answers for these things. So I'm not saying to you, don't go to see psychic mediums. What I am saying to you is know what they are before you go there. Know that it's a trick. Know that they have no powers whatsoever uh, and look at it as an entertainment but certainly do not make any life decisions based upon what they tell you because all they are doing is playing this cold reading game there's a place over in america whereby if you've got psychic abilities you can actually go and get them tested and there's a million dollar reward on the table for anyone who can prove they've got psychic abilities and uh, run by a guy called James Randy. And to this day, no one has ever took that money away. And when you think of all the psychics in the world that are supposed to be there, wouldn't you think one of them would have been able to go there and prove they've got psychic ability? Well, so far, no one has done that. So if you had psychic ability, what would you do? Would you sit around seeing people on a one-to-one -one basis? Charging whatever they charge? Or would you just go and collect a million dollars? I know what I would do. So instead of seeking advice or guidance from a psychic who are basically conning you, I want you to start to look inside of yourself for that and have faith in yourself. Don't look for outside influences. Don't think that things are happening uh, independently of you. You have control of your life. So don't look to the spirit world for help and guidance. Look to yourself. Build your own self-confidence, your own self-belief. Because that's real. And there's nothing in this world you can't do that you put your mind upon. So I'm not saying that there isn't life after death. And I'm not saying that there isn't genuine people out there with psychic ability. All I'm saying is, I've never yet come across one who's real. And if there is ever one that is real, great. I'll shake his or her hand. But right now, up to now, there has never been any. So on that note, I'll see you in the next video.